Hello, welcome to Everlasting Lips with Krista. I'm going to show you how to get a dramatic eye using tape. So this is a simple method that just kind of helps get a nice crisp line um, and doesn't make a mess, doesn't have to, it's just easy. So what I'm going to show you is you're going to get two pieces of tape, scotch tape, and I go ahead and put it on the back of my hand and pick it up a few times and place it back down because what that's gonna do is take some of that sticky off so that way it's not too harsh on your delicate eye skin around your eye. So you're gonna pick it up just a couple times. Um, you still want it to stick to your eye but you just don't want it to be so sticky. It'll be much easier to, to take off. Okay, and so you're going to go ahead and line it up with the edge of your eye to the edge of your eyebrow. very gently and you don't need to really stick this part down here on your eye that can just kind of be left open what really matters is this right here this line that's what you're gonna want so the same thing on this side the tricky part is trying to line them up nice and evenly okay so you press down in this area here that's where it's important you kind of want to look and make sure that you've got it pretty even and then you're gonna go ahead and play your eye makeup over top of it. So I already put, um, put sandstone, sandstone pearl on top of my whole eyelid. And so that I use as a base to kind of counteract um, any veins or discoloration that I may have. So I went ahead and did that already. And now I'm going on top with Mocha Java. Now I can be messy with this because of that tape there. So this is what I'm going to do for my transition shade. Sweeping motions back and forth, a little bit of dabbing as well. Okay. Then I'm going to go over top with Rustic Brown. This is a deeper shade, very pigmented, so I'm only going to apply a small amount on this very end area here. Okay, with a firmer brush, I'm going to dab that in there and bring it up a little bit halfway in on my lid area and just keep gently blending it in. Now I don't care too much about this area because see I have that tape there keeping it nice and clean and crisp for me. So it's just a little bit of a, of a hack to use if you're wanting to have a more bold look and you'll see at the end how pretty it is to have that crisp line. It almost gives it like a winged effect. Add a little bit to this eye over here and just a tiny bit a tiny bit goes a long long way with shadow sense okay I'm gonna go over top with that same brush that I used, the Boca Java, and I like to just kind of blend that out and make sure it's nice and seamless. Got a little hair bugging me, there we go. Okay. Then I'm gonna go over top with one of my favorite shades. This is called Shimmer Copper Rose, and it's very, subtle anything that you may have gotten underneath the line down here you you're going to want to blend it in okay this i'm going to apply straight to the lid i want to apply that in this area here where i stopped the french roast towards the um, inner corner of my eye just on my lid so i'm just going to pick it up straight with this brush and apply it. It's a really, really pretty, coppery, shimmery shade. It 
great for blue eyes, great for all eye colors, but the orange tone in this is really going to pick up your blue eyes if you have blue eyes. And I'm just kind of dabbing that in there so that I can keep the pigment pretty strong. You can even apply it with your brush where you want, or the um, doe foot, where you want more pigment. And then touch it a tiny bit with this. And you can go as dramatic with this as you want, or as heavy handed with this as you want. Um, I just want to show you how it gives that nice crisp line and also go over top with your eyeliner I'm gonna use onyx which is our black shadow sense you can mix it with other colors to deepen them um, or use it as an eyeliner which I love to do and this is great because I don't have to worry about my line because I have that tape there I like to stay on the outer part of my eyes to keep them open. If you have closer set eyes, this is perfect to kind of help keep your eyes out. If your um, eyes are far set, then you might want to go in a little bit further with your eyeliner because that's going to give the appearance of them being closer together. All the little makeup tricks. Make sure they're even there. Then I'm going to go in and take off my tape. And you'll be very gentle. I like to hold the skin here as I go. And look at how crisp and clean that is. Oh, so good. Same thing here. Grab the tape very gently. Put your finger as you go, moving it along so crisp and clean cut. If you're using Senegin's makeup, you don't have to worry about it coming off. Um, our makeup, as most of you know who use it, um, is <laughs> pretty much life proof. So I kind of just go in there and dab it a little bit underneath. Make sure if the tape did move anything, um, it's okay. But look at how clean, how crisp, that looks it looks so good and you don't have to go in now with concealer and reshape it or a makeup remover to kind of reshape it so this tape is a good good hack especially if you use the back of your hand to take off most of that sticky um, so my eyeliner is done now that the tape is gone I can go ahead and get a brush to do um, my under eye under eye man today has been a tongue twister day for me today so I'm going to go ahead and grab um, that rustic brown and I just want a tiny bit underneath my eye to kind of bring the whole look together. I'm going to put a little dot, very, very, very small amount, and then go in there and blend it in too. Again, I don't go all the way to the inner part of my eye. I stay out here. Now this is definitely a more bold look, night out. You can do it with any colors you want to. You can even do it more subtle if you want to as well and you still want that nice crisp line but you wanna do it a little bit more natural. You could just use Mocha Java and Sandstone Pearl. So, so many options. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a highlight here and apply a smidgen of this Buttercup Shimmer. This is from the limited edition collection that came out not too long ago and I am loving it. So I'm going to apply it inner corner of my eyes and then just dab that in and kind of smudge it out a little with a brush so it's not so bold. And you can even use that as a highlight on your face. Um, so many options, I love it. Okay, so all finished. Now we're gonna go in with our mascara and our lash primer and I will show you what the finished look is. All right, there you have it. Here's the finished look. I added my lash primer and mascara. You can see 
It's very nice and crisp. Super simple way to get an easy, sharp, crisp, dramatic eye. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to Everlasting Lips with Krista. See you next time, bye.